Hey guys, Ivan here. So what you're looking at right here is the first callout of the Mr. Big Evolution Pro or Portugal Pro pre-judging. As you can see on the far left you have Morgan Aced, below him is some bold uh, old guy, I don't know who he is, I found this uh, live stream on YouTube on his channel. And Morgan looks great by the way. Next to Morgan you have Tim Budesheim, and next is Peter Klanchir. None of these guys are gonna win the show. Next you have Andrea Muzi, Andrea Presti and Vlad Suhuruchko. So this is your top 6 and the winner will be Andrea Presti. I think it was a rather easy win for him. He is second to the right here. So uh, Andrea Presti, he was top 3, top 2 in a couple of shows before this one. And now finally there is nobody here to really challenge him. So he's going to win this show and get that Mr. Olympia qualification which I think he very much deserves. He's definitely a standout. He was the most complete bodybuilder as well. You're gonna see a little bit more closely. Uh, look at the Morgan Aced on the left. I mean, he is really tall, so it's kind of hard for him to compare against the shorter guys, but honestly, I think I was drawn the most to his physique, especially from the back. Like, he has a lot of muscle, and he came probably in the best conditioning here. Andrea Presti is here between Andrea Muzi and Vlad Suhoruchko, and he's beating all of these guys, but he's gonna be in top two with another Andrea. So just like Game of Thrones has the Battle of Bastards, Portugal Pro has Battle of Andreas. While I was watching the posing routines, I thought Vlad Sohorochko might be the one to actually challenge Andrea Presti, but it turned out not to really be the case. And I can see why, it's because of the conditioning for sure. Uh, you saw that photo where he posted his quads with a whole bunch of veins, and Nick Strength and Power said that it was <laughs> the physique update that made him go, wow, he didn't see such a great physique update in a long time, but vascularity doesn't really mean much on stage, it's just vascularity is all it is, it won't help him too much, he's not conditioned enough. Frank McGrath had great vascularity, Jay Cutler had basically no vascularity, and can you compare those two bodybuilders? Of course not. As you can see here, Vlad, especially his lower back, was not dry, and his glutes could have definitely been sharper. From the front he was a little bit harder, you know, through the abs, through the chest, shoulders, arms and quads, but, you know, his legs are a little bit stubby, a little bit short and don't really have crazy roundness. And when he does this, did you see that? Look at the delt, it looks suspicious to me. And look at the lat, what the hell is going on there? Is he pinning his lats that much and his shoulders? I don't know man, let's hope it's not Sintel. After this hardy fiasco I'm just trying to see who has Sintel, who doesn't. And Vlad's shoulders are definitely suspicious. As you can see, they switched them around a little bit later. They put Andrea Muzi in the middle. <laughs> Him and Petr Klanchir are having an elbow fight. And um, yeah, Andrea Muzi deserved that second spot. He was definitely second uh, best bodybuilder here. I won't say second most conditioned, but second most conditioned with complete physique. I would say uh, Morgan Aced is probably the most conditioned guy here. Tim Budesheim, I think he was in very good condition, I think he was really shredded, maybe he was holding a little bit of water here and there, maybe in his lower back a little, but he was shredded, he was peeled. Check out the quads here, and chest, pretty much everything, I mean he was shredded. I don't think he was ever this peeled. Uh, look at the lower back, maybe he could have gotten rid of that tiny little layer of water right there, but basically he was shredded, I mean he was dry as well. Uh, he doesn't have the prettiest structure, you know, his arms are weirdly shaped, and he doesn't have the best V taper, his waist is a little bit blocky, but did he bring conditioning, did he do his homework, did he come ready? I think he absolutely did. Because of the conditioning he did beat Vlad, but he lost to Petter, who is less conditioned but has better structure. Let's talk about Petter. Let's talk about Petter Kluncher. And right now I'm sure my subscribers from Balkans are listening very closely. So what I'm seeing here is basically, I just gotta say, Petter needs an off-season, really. If we're comparing this edition to California Pro Edition, maybe he came a tad bit more conditioned, but th that's pretty much it, that's all he could have improved on. What he really needs to improve on is bring up uh, the back, the back definitely can be better, and quads. Definitely legs from the front need to be bigger, need to be better, and that requires a full-blown serious off-season. Not off-season in terms of like off from competing, but actually working on improving your weaknesses, which are, in his case, definitely his back and definitely his quads. Also, he needs to work on his posing. I'm not saying that he's not posing properly, but he needs to show more confidence. He needs to assert himself on that stage. He doesn't know how to do that. So that's something he needs to change, but he looks great. I mean, sure, look at the quads here. That's what I'm saying. He needs to bring up those legs a lot. His waist is kind of a little bit wider, so he needs big quads, big sweeps. 
he could have been sharper too. Check out Andrea pressed his glutes and, and Petter's glutes, so he definitely could have been sharper. People have a high expectations of Petter because his Instagram shots are looking insane. But no, he's not gonna win this show, unfortunately for me, I was biased towards him because he's from Balkans, I wanted to see him do well. He was fifth at Kali, so here he's third, which is an improvement, he did kind of well, but he didn't win, unfortunately. Morgan Aced brought it, Morgan Aced brought his absolute best ever, I don't think he was ever this good. This fool and this shredded, sure, he does have a lot of weaknesses, a lot of flaws, uh, structure-wise, symmetry-wise, but as far as sheer muscularity <laughs> and conditioning, look at him. This guy is a freaking giant, a freaking monster. But in the top two callout, you had two Andreas, the battle of Andreas. The only thing that Andrea Muzi has on him is legs, quads. So he definitely has bigger quads, but they have very similar physiques, very similar haircuts as well, and same names. And they are very close, you know, it's a close battle. Take a look at this when they're doing the lat spread. Look at how similar they are, and they're posing exactly in the same fashion. And you can see that Presti is edging him out. He has better conditioning, sharper glutes and hamstrings, a better back, more conditioned, more developed. Uh, everything else is just more conditioned. So the only thing, the one thing that Muzi has is better legs. Whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. For more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support me, you can try one of the old school lab supplements. Click on the link in the description of this video and use the code even for a 12% discount. Thank you so much guys for watching. All the best and bye bye.